We're going to go ahead and start now. We're going to start a little bit differently than we normally do. We're going to actually begin on our backs this morning. We're not going to stay there very long, but where I am today, it's a cold day. Maybe it is where you are too, and just a nice way to warm up the body, and then we will end up in our easy pose and go from there. So let's go ahead and find a way to our back. You can come down several different ways. Maybe you sit up nice and tall, put your hands by your side and just slowly come down. Since we're not really warmed up yet, it, it's also a nice alternative to just come down onto one elbow, maybe the right side, and then come down to another elbow and just eventually make your way down to your mat. So we're lying flat and we're gonna begin to center here. Let's take our hands, place our hands on our belly, press the low back into the mat. Maybe we close our eyes and from the belly, right where your hands are, take a deep breath in. Take it up through the collarbone, in through the back of your throat. And then take your exhale out through your nose. Try to make your exhale as long as you can. Fully empty the lungs. Good. Let's do that again. Breathing in deeply. Breathing in through your nose. Fully empty the lungs. Breathe out through your nose. Let's do that one more time. Hearing it in the back of your throat, breathing in as though you're surprised to see someone, inhale. And then fully empty the lungs, breathing out as though you're fogging up a mirror with your nostrils. Continuing your breath. Let's set up an intention for today's practice. Maybe it is a word you think of. Maybe it is a person you can dedicate your practice to. Whatever it is, just something to keep you in the present for this next hour. So grab hold of your word. Let's take some more breaths. Deep breath in. Deep exhale out. fully emptying the lungs. Then on your next breath, let's send the arms out to the side. Maybe we press the hands into the floor, the carpet, and let's bend the right knee, press that foot into the mat, bend the left knee, press that foot into the mat. And then we're going to just relax and let the left leg fall to the side. So the knee may fall right off of the mat. And then with your left hand, you're going to try to find your right foot. And once you find that right foot, just gently thread it underneath the left. Very gently. We don't want to strain. And this is called pulling the cat's tail. And we're just going to take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. And then on your next breath, we're going to release that right foot and return that foot where it was, just pressing into the mat, return the hand to the outside edge so your hands are still in that T. And then on your next breath, we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So we're just going to let that left knee fall to the side. It might touch the floor, it might not. And then take the right hand, See if you can't find that left foot and then just pull it very gently. And take your breath, deep breath in. Deep exhale out. And then release that foot and let's return the foot back to its original place. On your next breath, we're gonna take both hands, spread the hands as wide as you can, and then clasp that right knee and just draw that knee in towards the right shoulder. You're gonna feel the low back press into the mat. While we're here, let's rotate the ankle. You may feel a little popping. You may even hear a little popping. Take a deep breath in. 
Deeper exhale out. And then on your next breath, we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna return that right foot to the mat and then clasp the left knee, draw it in towards the chest, aim towards that shoulder, and then just gently begin to rotate the ankle, pressing the low back into the mat, taking care of a lot of body parts as we hear our breath. Breathing in, exhaling out. Beautiful breath. And the next breath, return that foot to the mat. Let's spread our fingers out into a T. You can have the palms facing the ceiling if you like. And then we're gonna go ahead and just lower the right, the left leg, sorry. So the left leg comes all the way down to the mat. We still have that right knee bent. And with your next breath, we're just gonna rotate all of our uh, body. We're gonna just roll onto our left side, taking that right knee, trying to touch the floor. Maybe you take your gaze over your right shoulder. Just be very gentle with the neck. And then on your next breath, we're gonna lower that right leg and bend the right knee. And we're gonna go the other direction. So we're gonna roll slowly to the right side, draw that left knee towards the floor. And maybe you take your gaze over your left shoulder. It's a little bit like a supine twist. And then inhale, come back up. Let's do one more on either side. So let's lower the left foot, slide that right foot up. And with your breath, send that right knee towards that left wall. Maybe you gaze over your right shoulder, breathing in. And then on the exhale, come to neutral. Make that transition, press that right foot down flat. Left foot comes up, knee has been on the left side. And on the exhale, take that left knee towards the right wall, gaze over your left shoulder. Beautiful, very graceful. Then on your next breath, let's bring both knees bent and then clasp the hands, draw the knees into the chest, make some little gentle rocks. Hearing your breath, maybe you make little circles into the mat. Hearing that breath. And then releasing the knees to keep them bent. On your next breath, we're just going to roll to our right side, make a little pillow for our head, draw the knees in even tighter towards the chest. Let's take another deep breath in. Sip in a little more air. And then completely empty the lungs through your nose. Very nice. On your next breath, we're gonna come out of this and gently press ourselves up onto our mat in that comfortable seated position. Hope you enjoyed that different way to start. And we're gonna work on our posture all the way from our head down the body. So let's take the shoulders, reach them up towards the ears, roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together so the chest is nice and broad, continuing our breath. <sighs> Very nice. And then on our next breath, we're going to sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. If you want to bring the arms in towards the ears, keeping the arms nice and straight, bit of a challenge and spread the fingers as wide as you can get them. On your next breath, let's take a little dip towards the left side. Inhale, bring the arms straight and exhale, take them to the left. Try to keep the sit bones on the mat or on your block. If you come up on a block, inhale, straight arms, exhale to the right. Feel that stretch up and down the side of your body. Inhale, straight arms to the center. Exhale, take it to the left. Inhale, straight to the center. And on your next breath, let's just relax the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, place the hands on your knees, and let's just roll out the shoulders. Hear your breath. Breathing through your nose and make sure you reverse 
those shoulder rolls. Nice work. Next breath, let's sit up nice and tall, arms out to the side. Let's really spread the fingers as wide as we can. Squeeze the belly button in, spread the fingers wide. And next breath, we're going to make a fist. Inhale, spread the fingers as wide as you can get them. And then on your next breath, take, make a little fist. Inhale, spread the fingers as wide as you can. Exhale, make a little fist. And then we're going to rotate the wrists. Rotating, hearing that breath. And then on our next breath, we're going to turn into cactuses. We're going to make the cactus arms and squeeze our shoulder blades. Reach the uh, elbows towards that back wall. Squeeze the belly button into the spine. And then we're going to move our shoulders, move our arms. So on your next breath, send that right arm down. Squeeze the shoulders towards the back wall. Exhale, reverse in the left. Hand down. Spread the fingers while you're at it. Inhale, right side, spread the fingers. Exhale, left side, spread the fingers. Let's do two more on each side. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Next breath, we're going to send the hands straight out again. Let's rotate the palms so they're facing the ceiling. Spread the fingers even wider. I'm just aware it is slightly uncomfortable. And then relax a little bit. Bend the knees, bend the elbows, excuse me, and place the hands right on your shoulders. Let's make some nice circles. Getting those shoulders to meet as you make the circles towards that front wall. Squeeze the belly button in. About the third time around, just take it the opposite direction. Reverse those circles. Back is feeling warmed up. Arms are feeling warmed up. Shoulders are feeling warmed up. Nice work. Let's release the hands, bring them to our knees, work on our belly and our low back and take some deep hip circles. Just take your gaze towards the floor. Feeling that in your low back, keeping the sit bones glued to your mat. And then about the third time around, let's reverse those in the opposite direction. Coming back up to neutral. Nice work. Any kind of little wiggles you might want to make just to loosen things up. Then on your next breath, we're going to work our way down the body, the lower body. So let's go ahead and first bring our feet to a bound angle, a little bit of a butterfly. Take your hands nice and spread, fingers in place, your hands around your knees. Sit up nice and tall and just gently move the knees up and down. I call these the butterfly wings, just moving them gently. And the next breath, we're going to slide the feet out, coming into a forward fold. Let's press our palms together. Really good for the core to sit like this. And we're going to point our toes with our breath. So point the toes towards the front of the room. Inhale. And then exhale. Draw the toes towards your forehead. Feel the difference. Inhale. Point the toes towards the front. Exhale, draw the toes towards your forehead. Let's do one more. Inhale, point the toes towards your, uh, the front. And then exhale, point the toes towards your forehead, sitting up nice and tall. Just sitting right here with the toes facing the ceiling, you should feel a nice stretch up and down the backs of the thighs. Now we're gonna take our little twist towards the back wall. So when you're ready, you can release the hands, go ahead and bend the knee, press the foot into your mat, and then take that right foot, place it on the outside edge of your left knee. Sit up even taller. We're gonna reach out the left hand, spread the fingers as wide as you can get them, and then wrap the elbow around. Try to pull that leg, that right leg in towards the body. Right hand's gonna come out, spread the fingers wide. Good, and then take that hand, place it behind you and try to look over your shoulder using the hand 
to grip the mat with the fingertips and see if you can't twist yourself even deeper to see that back wall. Let's try to stay for three breaths, breathing in, exhaling out. And come back to center. We'll go ahead and do the other side. Just a reminder, make sure you've muted uh, your sound just so uh, we can all hear everything. So we'll come back to our neutral position. Let's go ahead and bend the knee on the left side. You might hear a little popping. We'll take that left foot, place it on the outside of the right, and then bring that right hand out, spread the fingers, wrap that knee, take the left hand and reach it back behind and spread the fingers. And once again, use that hand uh, to your advantage to press those fingers into the mat, look over your shoulder. Gazing over your shoulder here. And then releasing, coming back to neutral. Let's just real quickly turn this way so you can see. We're just wiggling out the legs a little bit. Wiggling that out. Good. And then on your next breath, we're going to bend the knees. You can give them a little help. Take your hands, spread them nice and wide, and then place the hands on your mat. Let's make our way into a tabletop. Now, we will be in table for a little while. So I always recommend that we put a blanket, set up a nice blanket. And um, sometimes it's nice to have two. If you don't have a blanket, don't worry. The mat is wonderful because it can be folded in half. You can just fold it in half and then double it over and you have an instant knee pad. Perhaps you even have a knee pad. So we'll set up any way that you like and then come into our tabletop supporting our knees. And once we're here, let's just begin to move the hips, make little circles side to side. Maybe the left hip comes towards the left wall, right hip comes towards the right wall. Maybe you rotate the way I'm doing, I'm just going side to side, left and then right with my breath. Try to take your gaze at your fingertips, right between the fingers, that little space. And while we're talking about hands, just double check and make sure that your fingertips are pressing firmly into the mat. This will take care of your wrists while we're in this position. And then on your next breath, we're gonna stretch back the right foot. Stretch back that foot tuck the toes and draw the heel towards the floor. While we're at it, let's heel toe the left foot off the mat. And then all of our weight's gonna come into that left side. We're gonna just reach up with our right hand towards the ceiling, chest is facing that right wall. Now you can stay right here. Perhaps you spread your fingers wide. Perhaps you make a little fist and rotate the wrist while you're at it. Another option here, if you want a little bit more, is to raise the right leg. It's a little bit of a challenge. You can even rotate the ankle here. You might feel some action in the hip, holding this. And then with your next breath, let's take it right back to our tabletop. Let's put a cat-cow in before we do the other side. So we'll breathe in deeply for cow, drawing the belly button towards the mat. And inhale for cat, drawing the chin towards the chest. Feel that in the back, all the back muscles, good. Next breath, let's go ahead and send back the left foot, tuck the toe, draw the heel towards the floor, feel that stretch in the calf. At the same time, heel toe, the right foot off the mat. All of our weight's gonna send to the right palm, then we're gonna just reach that left hand up towards the ceiling, open up through the chest. Same options here. Maybe you spread the fingers wide, make a fist, rotate that wrist. Perhaps you raise that left leg. See if it feels different on this side. Maybe you rotate the ankle. Lots going on. Try to hold this. And then when you are ready, take it with your breath down. Back to the tabletop, let's take another cat-cow in. Breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat. 
and then coming back to neutral. Do a little bit of balance. We've done this one before. It's kind of a popular move. We're gonna reach out the right hand, reach back the left foot, stay right here. This may be enough, or if you want a little bit more, take that right hand, reach back behind, grab that left foot and lift it up towards the ceiling. Take your gaze to the floor. Let's hold this for five, four, three, two, one, make sure you're breathing as I count. Good job. And then re remove that right hand, place it on your shoulder or over your heart. Let's flatten that foot behind us and lift our glute muscles is what we're working here. And lift five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to send the right hand out in front of us. Continue to hold. Let's lift for another five, five, four, three, two, one, and lower that right hand down, lower that knee. Let's reach the hips back towards the heels. Take some nice deep hip circles. Hear your breath if you've lost it. Remember to breathe in as though you're surprised to see someone. Exhale as though you're fogging up that mirror. After about the third time around, just reverse those circles the other direction. Good, we may have gotten here at a different time and you can always just take some little wiggles side to side if you get here before the rest of the class. Let's go ahead and do the left side. On your next breath, go ahead and send up the left hand. Spread those fingers wide. Send back the right foot, maybe even spread the toes wide. Stay right here or reach back behind if you want a little bit more. Grab that foot, the right foot. Hold it up towards the ceiling. See if you can get it even higher. Gaze towards your mat. Let's hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you're breathing as I count. And then release that hand. Let's place it on either the shoulder, the right shoulder, or your heart. Flatten that foot. Gaze to the floor. And let's lift. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. One, next breath, we're gonna send that left hand out. Spread the fingers wide and we're gonna lift five more times. Lift for five, four, three, two, one. And then lower the palm. Let's uh, come back into our table and just send the hips back to the ankles and just sit on the ankles. Take your hands, spread them as wide as you can. And let's reach them towards the wall in front of us. Make a little fist on your breath. And then after your exhale, just rotate your wrists. Breathing in, exhaling out. Let's stay here for another breath. Inhale, exhale. Good. We're going to do a little bit of warrior work. So if you do want to remove your blanket, sometimes it's a little safer to have it out of the way. We won't be on our knees for long. So on your next breath, let's take our hands, spread them nice and wide. Come back to a tabletop where we will not stay. Make any wiggles that you would like to make. And then on your next breath, let's tuck the toes, lift the knees, and just hover here for a moment. And then go ahead and send the hips up towards the ceiling. You can maybe even pedal out here, bend the right leg, bring the left heel down towards the mat. mat. Breathing in, exhaling out. And then on your next breath, we're going to come into a crescent lunge. So on that breath, let's go ahead and raise the right leg. Hold it up there and then bend the knee, draw it through. Maybe the knee touches the chest on the way. And if your foot does not come all the way up, mine never does, you can take your right hand, give it a little help. And then we're gonna come up into our crescent lunge. Crescent lunge is a little different from warrior. 
uh, warrior one, crescent lunge, just look down at your toes. All 10 toes are gonna be facing the front wall. So let me come this way. It's a little bit of a balance. So it helps to maybe bring the left foot out a little bit. So you have a little more um, space there versus being on a balance beam. So bringing that foot out, notice and check to make sure that you're on the ball of the foot on the left side, that that heel is lifted on the left side. Lots going on. Okay, on our next breath, we're gonna send the hands forward. So I'm gonna come back this way so you can see, send the hands forward, maybe even reach towards that front wall. You're on the ball of the foot. Next breath, we're gonna take those hands and wrap them behind us. Clasp the hands together, a little bit of a balance going on. Uh, press the palms together, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and send the chest down towards the floor. Getting that nice stretch, feeling it in the back of the thigh on the right side. On your next breath, we're going to come out of this. We're slowly going to turn this into a warrior two, just almost like a little, um, just bringing the arm, the left arm over, um, just a graceful way. And take your fingertips Look through your fingers, square the shoulders over the hips, hold this. And then on your next breath, we're gonna straighten that front leg and just rotate on this cartwheel into a triangle. Try to see your thumb, little bit of a balance going on here as well. Looking up at that left thumb, hear your breath. Beautiful. Next breath, we're gonna come right back into warrior two. Nice bend into the knee, gaze through your fingertips. And then on your next breath, we're gonna take this back arm, the left arm, send it forward to meet that right hand and then draw it back almost like you're shooting an arrow. Just draw it back and come right back in to warrior two. Just an added movement there. On your next breath, we're gonna rotate at the waist, press the hands down, send that right leg back. You might have to spin on the left um, toes a little bit and come back into your down dog. Now from here, we're gonna come into a child's pose. So we're just gonna drop the knees and flatten the feet and just send the hips back. Take a little break here. That was quite a bit of work. You can either have this be a wide-legged child's pose where the knees are wide, almost to the edge of your mat, or you can just have it be a comfortable child's pose where you have just a, maybe a fist amount of space between the knees. And just relax your head, maybe even press your forehead into the mat and roll it side to side. If your shoulders are tight, you might even wanna send them back behind you where the hands might be touching the feet. Sometimes we twist here, but we're just going to have it be neutral this morning. Stay here for another breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then on your next breath, wherever your hands are, maybe they're already at the top of the mat, maybe they're back by your feet, just go ahead and make sure we all have them towards the top of the mat. Send the hands up there. Maybe you take another breath here and press even deeper into the stretch. Then on your next breath, we're gonna come back into a tabletop. I'm gonna turn just so you have a better view of the left side. And we won't stay here, just any kind of little wiggles you wanna make, you can make. We're going to go ahead and tuck the toes, lift the knees, hold that for just a bit. Then on your next breath, send the hips up. Maybe you pedal out on this side. Take a quick glance at your hands. Make sure that your fingertips are pressed in firmly and active to protect the wrists. And then on your next breath, we're going to come into that crescent lunge on the left side. So Inhale, lift the leg on the left side, hold it there. And then exhale, bend the knee, draw it through, plant the foot. If you need to give it a little help, take that left hand, help it up there. And remember that all 10 toes are gonna to be facing that front wall. If you need to heel toe a little bit and give yourself a little more space between the feet, 
that's perfectly fine to do. You're up on the ball of the hood, the um, up on the ball of the left, right foot, sorry, and the uh, right heel is lifted. Let's send the arms up and then send them in front. We're gonna wrap the hands back behind, clasp the hands and take your gaze, your drishti gaze. That's where you find a spot and draw the chest down towards the floor, staring at a spot on the floor, helping your balance, holding this. This is hard work. And then on your next breath, we're gonna release the hands and just turn this into a warrior two. Take your gaze right in between your fingers. Nice bend in the knees, holding this. Squeeze the belly button in, spread the fingers wide. And then on your next breath, we're gonna straighten that front leg and cartwheel into a triangle. Try to see your right thumb open up through the chest. Maybe you grab your ankle, your left ankle. Maybe you even have your hand to your mat. Maybe it's on a block. Lots of options. Beautiful. Then slowly, slowly, we're going to release this. Come right back to warrior two. And then on your next breath, we're going to do that little arrow thing that we did before. So we're going to take this back hand, the right hand, just bring it around to the front and then just bend that elbow on the right side, slide it back almost like you're shooting an arrow, come right back to warrior two, very graceful, good. And then on your next breath, let's rotate at the waist. We're gonna press down. We're gonna think about that back right foot, maybe even look back at it and just come up on the toes, spin on those toes, bend the knee and then step the right foot to meet the left. And you should be at the top of your mat. From here, we're gonna take a little ragdoll pose. We're gonna bend the knees, let the head just hang. Maybe the arms dangle. Maybe you bend the knees even deeper to get the chest onto those thighs. Lots of options here. You can interlace the elbows and just rock side to side. My personal favorite is to take the hands, clasp them together, bring them to the back of the skull, press the palms into the back of the skull, take my thumbs, give my neck a massage. Just a nice, nice, nice thing to get, do for your body. Maybe rocking side to side as you do it, if you choose this option. Staying for another breath. And then on your next breath, we're gonna release everything. Just let everything go like rag dolls. And then slowly, slowly, slowly begin to rise. One vertebra at a time. The head is going to be the very last thing to come up. We don't want to get dizzy. And then just look down at your feet. Let's bring our feet about hip distance. And then we're going to do a little bit of work, getting the metabolism up, getting the heart rate up. So on your next breath, we're going to take the hands, spread the fingers wide, sweep the hands up towards the ceiling. Try to keep the arms as straight as you can. Try to squeeze the arms in towards the ears. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't, it's okay. We're gonna squeeze the face, squeeze the arms so much so that you feel the triceps, the backs of the arms right here. Then on your next breath, squeeze the belly button, lift the kneecaps, which turn the thigh muscles on, lift all 10 toes, keep breathing, but squeeze so much so that you're working. Feel all your muscles. Maybe you start to shake a little bit. Keep breathing, keep squeezing. And then on your next breath, we're gonna exhale into Tadasana and relax just a little bit before we turn it back on again. Maybe you lift the right toes and lower them. Lift the left toes and lower them. Maybe you put all your weight onto the right foot and then onto the left. Maybe you just kind of roll out the shoulders, make any kind of little movements before we turn it on. And then on your next breath, let's take our shoulders, reach them up to the ears, roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, send the palms back out, spread the fingers wide. Let's squeeze the face, squeeze the arms so much so that they feel a little uncomfortable. Squeeze the belly button to the spine, lift the kneecaps, lift all 10 toes. This one's even harder. Keep breathing, 
Keep squeezing so much so that you feel every muscle turning on. Keep working it. Getting a little warmer. Keep squeezing. Keep breathing. Heart rate's going up. Body temperature's going up. And then on the next breath, relax. Release everything. Oh, feels so good, right? Very nice. And then we're going to do some balance. So if you want to stay at the top of your mat, go ahead and stay there. Do take note if you're on carpet. Sometimes it's a little too soft. Um, feel free to go over to a wall or maybe grab a chair and we'll do a little balance flow. So on your next breath, let's take the hands, spread the fingers, place the hands on the waist. Let's rotate all of our weight over onto our left side so we can take care of the right side first. So we're going to slide that left toe over. We've done this one before if you've been in this class before and we're just going to tap it. Make it exaggerate really exaggerate the tap. Lift the knee as high as you can for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to change it up. We're going to come to a tree. Little bit of balance here. Form your tree. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to go to a figure four. So our hands are going to come together and that Right leg's going to move over like you're sitting down reading a newspaper. Take your gaze to the floor. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. We're almost done. Then we're going to come up, bring the knee up, and send the hands out. Maybe they come straight out, spread the fingers. Maybe they come at an angle. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. One, and forgive yourself if you didn't keep your balance. Let's take care of that uh, left foot. So let's, let's just place all of our weight on our right foot. And you can take your hands, put them on your waist, and just press the toes on the left side into the mat. Rotate the ankle. Might hear a little popping. And then just press the toes into the mat. Pressing them in. Hopefully you can see my toes. They're back behind me. And then maybe you rotate the ankle a little bit, shake out that foot. Good job. Let's try to do that on the other side. So we'll take all of our weight and bring it over to the right side so we can do the left side. Hands go on the waist, draw all those toes over. Let's exaggerate this. So pressing the toes into the mat, lifting the knee. Five, four, three, two, one, we're going to take it to a tree. It might be easier on this side, especially if you are right-handed. Open up that tree, dristy gaze, either to the wall, maybe the ceiling, arch the back, beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to take it to a figure four. Press the palms together. Slowly bend the right knee. Gaze at the floor. You're Drishti yoga gaze, hold this five, four, three, two, one. Good. And then we're just going to bend that knee, send the arms out to the side. Maybe we open up the chest. Maybe we lower the arms. Toe faces that front wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Then let's take care of that standing legs. So we will press the toes into the mat, hands on the hips. Maybe we rotate. Maybe we take those toes and just step on them, step them backwards. And then maybe shake the foot out a little bit. Nice work on the balance. And then when you're ready, come back. If you, if you have left your mat, just come back to the very top of your mat. And we're going to bring our feet about hip distance. Let's go ahead and reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Squeeze the belly button in. And then exhale, take a fold. I'm going to turn to the side so you get a better idea. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Take your gaze just to the mat so you're not straining your neck. And then on your next breath, we're going to just press on down into a tabletop. Sit back onto our heels. This will help after that balance. So we're just sitting on our heels. We're stretching our ankles here. 
and we might as well take care of our wrists while we're at it. So we'll just press the palms out in front, spread the fingers as wide as we can. And then with your breath, make a fist. Inhale, spread the fingers. Exhale, make a fist. Let's do one more. Inhale, spread the fingers. Exhale, make a fist. And then rotate those wrists. And then on your next breath, let's go ahead and just make our way onto our back. So we'll very gracefully come around onto our seats, sit up nice and tall, and just slowly come down onto your backs. So if you want to come down the way we did earlier in today's class, we can go ahead and do that. And hopefully you still have your strap that's right up at the top of your mat, easy to grab. So once we are down in this Shavasana pose, we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze the low back into the mat. And then we're gonna just bend the right knee. We're gonna bend the left knee and press that low back even deeper into the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all that air out of the lungs. Good. On your next breath, we're gonna knock the knees together and we're gonna heel toe the feet all the way to the edge of the mat. Maybe they come off the mat just a little bit, maybe not. This is, uh, if you look up, it looks like a little tent that we have formed and we're gonna hold this. You can take your hands, place them on your belly to hear your breath and take a deep breath in from the belly. And then exhale all that air out. Good, and then release the hands. Let's heel toe the feet together. And then on your next breath, just send the left foot all the way down the mat for it to rest. And we're gonna grab our strap. Now we've done this one before. This is a nice flow that's really nice for the low back. We're gonna take about two feet of strap, hold it right over the chest. Look up with your head just a little bit, hold the head up and we're gonna lift that right foot and place it into the strap. Gather the strap, place all of the excess strap to your right side and let the left hand just relax to your side. Now let's pull that right leg towards us. Maybe we even bring the toes towards the forehead. Very intense stretch. Maybe we point the toes, A little different stretch. So find what's best for you. I always like to say, the more you can get the toes towards the forehead, the deeper the stretch you're going to achieve. So with your breath, we're gonna allow that right leg to come to the right side towards the floor. It won't touch the floor, but it will just hover. Try to keep the left um, hip a glu or uh, glutes, your glutes, your butt tucks onto your mat. And then with your inhale, bring the leg back up. Now you can switch hands. Right hand gets the day off. And then we're gonna take the leg over to the left. Inhale, up towards the ceiling, switch hands. Exhale, leg comes to the right. Inhale, leg comes up towards the ceiling, switch hands. Exhale, leg comes over to the left, across the body. Inhale, up towards the ceiling, switch hands, exhale, leg comes towards the floor. And then one more, last one, inhale, leg comes up to the ceiling. This is where we're gonna bend the knee, remove that strap, press the right foot into the mat and send it down to meet the left. Let's do the other side. We're gonna go straight to it. So we can take our strap, move it to the left side, go ahead and press that left foot into the mat, slide it up the mat, Maybe you lift your head up just to get that strap uh, situated into the left foot. And then once again, draw the toes towards the forehead and then point the toes, feel the difference. Draw the toes towards the forehead. See how much you can get them towards the forehead. Sides are different. With our breath, we're gonna set it up on this side. Right hand can just rest. So we'll start on the left. 
Inhale, take your leg all the way to the left. Won't quite touch the floor. Try to keep your uh, hips and your buttocks on the right to your mat. Inhale, leg comes up, right hand takes over, left hand relaxes, and the leg comes to the right. Inhale, up, exhale to the left. Inhale, up, switch hands, exhale to the right. Let's do one more. Inhale, up, switch hands, exhale to the left. Inhale, leg comes up. Let's bend that knee, remove the strap. And let's go ahead and bend both legs. We'll just put the strap out of our way. And bring the arms out to a T. And let's just take a little uh, windshield wipe side to side with our breath. Breathing in. Exhaling out. Slow it down with your breath. Breathing in. Exhaling out, good, one more. Inhale, take it to the left. Exhale, take it to the right. Then on your next breath, let's bring our feet into a reclined butterfly. So the soles of the feet are pressing together. Let's slide our hands down and have the hands just supporting right below where the hip connectors are and the thighs um, connect. And you're, you can stay right here or you can take an option for a diamond bridge. Diamond bridge is just where you're going to press the soles of the feet together and lift the hips off the mat and hold it. You don't have to go very high on this. Just try to hold it and then slowly come down. Different kind of bridge, diamond bridge. And then take your hands, place them to your knees, draw the knees together, and then let's clasp the hands, draw the knees in towards the chest and make some little gentle rocks side to side. Maybe we even make some circles into the mat. Hearing that breath. And then after your next breath, Let's go ahead and set up a happy baby, just bending the knees, grabbing the feet, drawing the knees towards your body. Maybe you bring the legs out even wider. Make some little gentle rock side to side. And then on your next breath, let's straighten the right leg. Keep the left leg bent. This is a playful baby. And then next breath, straighten the left leg, bend the right knee. Play around with it, see how that feels. Good, and then on the next breath, we're gonna relax the knees and just bring the knees to hover right over the hips. Let's send our arms out to a T. We're gonna take a lion's breath here. And as you're taking your breath, if you wanna rotate the ankles, this is a great opportunity to do that. Let's go ahead and fill the lungs. Take that breath in from the belly. Sip in a little more air. And then maybe you take a lion's breath out through your mouth. <sighs> Completely empty the lungs. Make the exhale even longer than the inhale. Good. Let's do that again. But this time on the exhale, we're going to drop the knees to the right. So deep breath in from the belly. Breathing in. And then exhale, let those knees fall to the right. Take your gaze over your left shoulder, glue the shoulders to the mat. If you want a little deeper stretch, just extend that outside leg. Let's try to hold this. Maybe you close your eyes. Maybe the body tells you to move and change your position, that's okay. Stay for another breath. Good, and then on your next breath, we're gonna come back to neutral. Once again, if you wanna rotate the ankles, take a deep breath in from the belly. Lion's breath out. 
Next breath, we're gonna rotate the knees to the left. So deep inhale. Even deeper exhale, any way you wanna take it through the nose or through the mouth, let those knees come to the left. Take your gaze over your right shoulder, getting a nice twist. Shoulders are glued to the mat. If you wanna extend a leg on the side, feel free to do that. Close your eyes, hold this, enjoy. Stay for one more breath. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. And then slowly release this. Let the knees hover just one more little bit. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale out any way you like. And let's go ahead and send the feet down. Pressing the mat, noticing the feel of the mat under your feet. And then we're just going to slide the right leg forward. Slide the left leg forward. You can separate the feet just a little bit. Maybe just let them flop. And then just draw your arms towards your body. Let's, let's just move our neck. Move the head side to side. And then squeeze the shoulder blades even deeper so you really enjoy this Shavasana. If you notice that your tongue is stuck to the roof of your mouth, just let it drop into the lower palate. Relax the jawbone. Maybe you move the jawbone side to side, soften through the face, the collarbone, and just relax every muscle. Just with each breath, sink a little bit deeper into your mat. And we're gonna stay in this beautiful Shavasana position for about 12 breaths. So just enjoy. slowly, very gently begin to bring some movement back into your body. Just awaken it. Maybe you spread your fingers out as wide as you can. Make a little fist. Rotate the wrists. Good. Maybe you draw one knee in. Rotate that ankle. Then draw the other knee in. Rotate that ankle. Windshield. Uh, wipe your knees, draw your knees into your chest, any kind of movement that the body is calling you to do. Maybe you move side to side. Good. And then on your next breath, start to slow that down just a little bit and roll to your right side like we did at the beginning of today's practice. Make a little pillow for your head, draw your knees in towards your chest, 
try to get them even tighter in towards the chest. Maybe your eyes are closed, hear your breath, breathing in. Exhale out. Stay for another breath. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. And then very gently taking your time, make your way back into a comfortable, easy pose, seated position. And when you're there, maybe your eyes stay closed. Let's just take our hands, place them on our knees, lift the shoulders up, roll them back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. We're gonna take care of our necks. On your next breath, we're gonna raise the right hand like you're taking an oath. You can still have the eyes closed if you like. And then reach that hand all the way across, find that left ear, and then only moving your neck, your head, draw that right ear towards the right shoulder. Keeping the spine as straight as possible. Close your eyes. This is where we store a lot of tension and let it go with your breath. Just let it go. Good. And then we're going to slide that hand down to the back of the skull. Maybe you give your neck, the back of the neck, a little squeeze, a little massage with the hands and the thumb, the fingers. And then on your next breath, we're going to just send our nose and our chin underneath that armpit. Squeeze the belly button in. Maybe the eyes are still closed and you're so relaxed here. And then let's release that and go straight to the other side. If you need to reach the shoulders up towards the ears, roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then raise that left hand like you're taking an oath and then just reach around, find that right ear, draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. Maybe your eyes are closed. Try to squeeze your belly button into your spine, just getting a little deeper stretch. Let go of all the noise, the worries, the stress. And the next breath, just slide that hand to the back of the skull. Maybe you squeeze the neck with your fingers and your thumb. Give yourself a little massage. Draw your nose in towards your right armpit. Squeeze the belly button. Good, let's release this. Take your fingertips, flip the palms outside your body and we're gonna send the hands up towards the ceiling till the palms meet. Rotate, just bring those hands down to your heart center. We've done a lot with the wrist, so we're gonna skip that today. We're gonna press the palms together, sit up with a nice tall spine. Thank you for joining me for gentle yoga. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. We're gonna take a bow, which will help stretch our back with our namaste. Namaste.